and this is Ikara Kant and I am a coach and I coach American expat women living in London. Happy Friday! Uh, the theme for the video this week is community. You know what? I think I'm going to take a leaf out of the Golden Girls book. Thank you for being a friend. Right? Okay, you might be like, that is terrible singing. But the point is, um, it's all very well and good to be excited about your relocation package to London. Yay! Awesome! Hands up, you know, for having someone to help you move, um, you know, find out where the office is, get you an apartment or a place to live, um, help you find a place for your kids to go to school, if that's the case. But here is the big thing. They will not be helping you uh, to find friends. And you might think that this is like, you know, not really important, but it actually is. Because if you think about it, you're going to be li living abroad for maybe a year, two years, uh, or whatever the case may be with your particular relocation package. Um, and yes, of course, you can keep in touch with your friends um, back at home, you know, using technology. But here's the thing. Distance and time zones make life complicated. Um, and you'll just find that over time, um, you're not going to be able to spend as much time, um, you know, maintaining those relationships. Obviously, you will, the very important ones, your parents, your siblings, um, your one or two closest friends. But generally, you'll find that you're going to scale back. And this is where you'll need to build community in London. Um, and I have three top tips on building community in London before you arrive so that you can start to feel like you have your virtual friends and then actual real friends when you turn up and you can go to um, their events and get stuck in. So uh, tip number one, um, if you are a professional woman and you're interested in technology, um, finance, business, whatever the case may be, um, join a virtual group um, or uh, community uh, before you leave uh, so that you're on the mailing list and you can get notified about events and things that are happening but also you have the opportunity to introduce yourself and to reach out to people that you might want to actually meet in real life. Number two, really um, think about um, your spiritual practice um, and your hobbies. So if you, you know, attend a church, a mosque, a synagogue, um, whatever practice that you do, um, find out, you know, where the nearest uh, of these types of um, religious um, venues is nearest to your, your new place of, of living or work um, and reach out to them before you arrive um, to say that you're coming and that you'd like to join the community and make sure that they'll welcome you um, with open arms. Um, similarly, with sports clubs um, and things that you're really interested in hobby-wise, Join those online communities, um, get in touch, introduce yourself, um, and that would be really good. I think there's was, was a third one. What's the third one? Aha! The third one is just be open to opportunity uh, and to meeting people and to actually um, reach out to your friends and family who have friends and family living abroad in the city or the country that you're living in. I mean, yes, they might not be your best friends for life, but at least they are people that you know that you're connected with um, and that it's, you know, an easy way to start building up a community. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, um, have a wonderful day and weekend. You're wonderful, you're marvelous. Take care and back yourself and be your number one cheerleader. Goodbye.